Welcome to the Nacklers Workshop. I'm Paul. Today's video we are continue the disassembly of the Unimat SL lathe. Hi everyone, hope you're all well. So um, just to start uh, this video um, I'll just talk about a couple of the um, comments that uh, uh, came up after the part one of the disassembly. Um, Heather, Heather gave some information about the, um, the base of the, um, of the Unimat and, and the older ones are made from cast iron and the newer ones are made from uh, so Mac Z A M A K, um, which I think that's the case for my one. It is quite heavy. It's a, an alloy. Obviously, you can just Google that. Um, also, Rich asked um, about the um, the screws. He he uh, was commenting that on his one he didn't you didn't have Allen bolts holding the ways on. So I looked on my other my other SL, the one that's in pretty poor condition, and you can see from the photos it's got screws. Also, um, Rich also mentioned about the uh, what uh, spec motor I had. So um, mine's a U uh, U ninety, and, I, and, and Rich wanted to see a U one U one hundred. So to be truthful, I don't know the difference between the two. Um, I will try and find out what the uh, spec on the other motor is. Um, on the other one, I know it's different and I know that motor does need um, quite a lot of work doing to it. Um, also, uh, just, uh, I've just thrown in the photo of the two tools we've used so far today. Um, again, just I thought I'd do that at the beginning of each video. Okay, uh, uh, and one other point is that um, I will make a video showing the um, showing the cleaning of the uh, of the um, all the component parts. Okay, so let's um, stop talking and start doing a bit of work. So I think what we we'll do we'll concentrate on these three parts. So we've got just to take the the base off the or the clamp off the mo uh, electric motor, take the spindle out of the headstock. And disassemble the uh, tail stock. So, um, if we do the um, uh, the headstock first, so we need a screwdriver. So we're we're adding to the tools we need, and there's just one single uh, screw here. So if we remove that, uh, I'll put a photo of that at the end of the um, end of the video because I can zoom in with my macro lens make that look a bit a uh, bit better you have to ensure these two bolts are loose and then the actual um, I don't know if there's a preferred way but the spindle should just come out okay so now we've got the the spindle out of there now is it there was also some comments uh, last week about the surprise that there was a lack of keyway on here and I, I it did seem a bit strange to me, but and I couldn't quite reconcile it in my mind. But I had this is the uh, the collet um, or the watchmaker spindle for the SL, and although it's they're identical in that, you know, the only difference is collets the W uh, WW collets fit in there. Um, and this is where the chucks screw onto. But this one has, let's see if we can get a bit a bit closer. I don't know if we can see that. But this one has got a key on it and this one doesn't have any evidence of it. So I don't know what the logic of why one had a key and one didn't. Um, interesting enough that's sealed as well on that end. Uh, I don't know whether there's a no there doesn't either it's missing or so that's another thing to address yeah it looks like it's probably just missing on this 
Okay, so that was pretty easy just to remove the spindle. Um, it's interesting on this when I show you this, this is um, effectively it works like a key. So we can it is a slide along. So again when we when we have the um, the SL set up as a as a milling machine that allows you to move up and down. We've got the so when we turn that in the headstock that drops down and that keeps that the key the grub screw and keeps that going up and down in the parallel. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Put that back. So let's do the motor. That's another easy one. Um, so what we've got is we've got one screw there, another one there. So um, got a bit of a bigger screwdriver. So we're now getting going a little bit crazy now with all our tools. We've got four, two screwdrivers, one Allen key, and one spanner. It's a little bit. Um, Fiddly getting it past the um, the pulleys. Haven't tried this before, so I'm not. Uh, I did check they were. I did loosen them, but I hadn't actually removed them. So extra motor off, we have to take that, take that pulley off, but we'll do that probably in the next episode. So we've got um, a pulley here and it's uh, we take that one off, actually put the screws for the, the motor there. So you need to loosen off the uh, the Allen bolt. If it doesn't it doesn't pop out yeah this one has because I did try this before so uh, it's got a bearing on there so let's see if we can get it so you can see so it feels doesn't feel particularly um, smooth that's quite quite tight so that will benefit from um, being replaced I'm not sure whether it's one or no it looks like there's two bearings there so um, it's a bit rusty so we disassemble all that we add that for the next week's or next next week can't guarantee that next episode so we've got that pretty much uh, disassembled so now let's just don't think we need screwdrivers anymore we'll concentrate on the uh, tail stock okay so um, Power stock. So we can take the base off as we, we saw where we um, when we took it off the ways last week when we started the disassembling process. So again, so that's one. So we've got the a nut there to undo. Let's un So we can undo that. Let me take that one off. So we've got two screws here. <coughs> one, one here and one here. So I'll undo that. I can't remember. I have taken this apart before. But it was quite a while ago. So we remove that. Now this is very similar to the one that uh, came out of the the headstock, um, and it it effectively we we'll see a key on there, so that it will do the same thing as keeping it running parallel. 
Um, let's, um, I can't remember whether I'm supposed to undo this rear one or not. No. Now this is uh, this is different. Again, I'll show you uh, this. All this has is a pointed end because that locates on a bearing surfaces and a surface or a bearing and stops it rotating. Okay, so if you hold the um, uh, goodness me, I can't think what it's called. But anyway, we hold the shaft there, and we should be able to undo the um, hand wheel. Yeah, that's coming out. Okay. So hand wheel. Another one to clear. Now we should just be able to push here, push forward, and the whole assembly comes out. So, but what we've got here is the spindle. So as you're turning the hand wheel, this advances uh, this this spindle, and this is a left hand thread as we as we start to see. You know, if you turn something in a uh, a normal sort of winding way if you want it to disappear as it, exactly as in the lead screw you need a left hand thread so and as I talked about uh, a few minutes ago we have the um, uh, the location for the for this uh, grub screw just to to keep it running in a straight line so that's that uh, there so the only other thing here is left in here, let me, oh that works out quite well. So we've got the bearing surface for this end. Okay. So, and that was the, the little indentation that the other type of nut will fit into just to hold that. So that just fits in there. So that's quite easy. So we're Take this uh, Allen bolt out as we're taking it all apart. We're going to clean it up. So just a normal uh, M6 Allen bolt. So again, it, I think it's uh, important to try and do some pre-cleaning. I know the first time I ever took this one apart, it was extremely um, challenging. And and as I said on last week's. Um, last week's video the problem with these SLs is if you scratch or you know, damage these these bearing surfaces it, it's pretty impossible to fix them so it's better to go cautiously clean them lubricate them and make sure they come out as safely as possible okay so um, that's those parts apart so that was uh, relatively simple so all um, so now our toolkit is expanded by a couple of screwdrivers, probably, uh, and that's where we are. So next week, let me have a look, what should we do next week? Well next week we would do the uh, cross slide and possibly, yeah, I think we do the cross slide, get the pulleys off and the auto feed. So that should be well, next week, next episode next episode in this series um, and we should then be in a situation where everything's apart and we can start the uh, cleaning process and then and then the inspection I will leave the electric motor till last though we we'll take the pulley off um, and we we'll do all the cleaning the re <coughs> um, cleaning um, inspection, uh, repair when necessary and reassemble and then but we'll do the, the motor last. Okay well that's where we are so uh, as normal I hope it, it's been useful and um, stay happy healthy and see you all next week. Cheerio.